Good morning, John. It's Friday. I'm going to be talking about sidewalks for this entire video. But if you bear with me, I know that it doesn't seem like it, but it will be worth it. Four years ago, I didn't have an idea for the video that I wanted to make, so I asked Twitter to send me ideas. One of the things that was I was told to do by Shina Joseph was to interview the sidewalk. So I did that. I'm here today with the sidewalk to talk about what it's like to be a sidewalk. So sidewalk, what do you think? Well, I got no complaints, except tree roots. Don't get me started on tree roots. Fascinating. I also did this dance, which, that's good. There's a link if you want to watch that 2013 Vlogbrothers video. Ever since I made that video, I have spent a surprising amount of time thinking about interviewing sidewalks. Where we grew up in Florida, sidewalks were boring and consistent and they were all laid down at the same time. Here in Missoula, sidewalks were laid down a hundred years ago, they were laid down last Tuesday. So it's like a weird patchwork and a lot of them are falling apart. And also, they have, occasionally you'll see maker's marks that will tell you who laid the sidewalk and what year it was laid down. Those maker's marks are part advertisement, part like record keeping, so the city knows who did what, and part warranty. So like if it breaks, you know who did it. After the 50s, these kind of go away and so you are more reliant on people actually carving, like just illicitly carving the, the year into the sidewalk, which I actually appreciate, though not legal technically. And if you look hard enough, you could see that sidewalks look different from different eras, both because of how they've weathered and also the materials that were used in them. Look, it's a thing that I think about, which is why Recently, I was outside of a friend of mine's house, and I had a moment. It was like a rather intense sidewalk-related moment. Sometimes in sidewalks you will see footprints, like people footprints or dog footprints. And so I was seeing that there were these little people footprints. They looked like they were probably from a kid like two or three years old. It was just like a kid wandered onto the wet cement and just walked down the sidewalk for a little while. And I was following those footsteps, and I got to a maker's mark where it said, Miracle and Trip, of the maker, 1909. And as a person who thinks a lot about sidewalks, my, I did the math. I actually did some research on this. It was Frank Miracle and Henry Tripp were the, the guys who laid that sidewalk in 1909. And they actually had a guarantee for five years after they laid the sidewalk, if anything went wrong, they would replace it. And here it is. It's 109 years later. And Frank Miracle isn't around anymore. Henry Tripp isn't around anymore. And that little kid who made those little footsteps presumably grew up, lived a life, and is also gone. You might be thinking, oh, Hank is sad because he has a baby, and baby grew up and lived, and... But it's actually kind of a th thing that I like. Um, I... Like, I don't have context to that person's life, but what I do have is knowledge that they were there. Like, that moment when the sidewalk was laid down, this, this thing happened. This tiny, insignificant, little human thing. I like when people create things with the, the knowledge and the intent that they're gonna be around serving a purpose after those people are gone. But here's the real thing. I like that this inanimate chunk of concrete connects people who don't know that they're connected. And I don't think that we're ever very good at understanding how connected we are to each other, to the whole sort of system of the earth. Like, people take drugs to feel that feeling, and I got it from a sidewalk. <laughs> that feeling of being part of something that existed long before us stretches out way beyond us is very neat. It's very good. It's very real. It's very big. And I like it. And that's my sidewalk story. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Oh, hey, kitty. Hi. You, you surprised me.